So when you're up here on the deck and you have a lot of points to lay out, a lot of lines to lay out, people are waiting on you. Time is not on your side. So to help overcome some of those challenges that we face up here on these decks is the AP20 pole. So this pole is a tilt pole. So it has IMU sensors built into the head of it and they can read the tilt angle of your pole. So with the tilt angle and then the auto height, which this pole offers. So when I raise my rod up and down, it automatically knows my rod height. So between the rod height and the tilt sensors, it knows where my point's at on the ground. So it's running all this math right into the tablet and just giving you the results to get on point. And as I'm going around and I'm laying out points, I don't have to really plumb the rod. As long as I can just take that tip and move it around and read the data from the screen, I can be on point. There's gonna be a lot of obstructions in the way. It could be people, it could be formwork, it could be rebar, it could be a multiple of things. But with the option to be able just to raise your rod up or just lean the pole from side to side to get around them objects, you don't have to wait for someone to get out of the way. You don't have to move material. Uh, you can just get right to your point when you need it. I put a split screen up. Another you know, workflow that works well with the AP20 is uh, on one side of the screen, I have a plan view. And then on the right hand side of the screen, I have the bullseye view. So when I get near a point, uh, it's automatically going to be selected with a function in the red toolbox called automatic point selection. And it's underneath the dynamic point option. So when I get near that point, it is automatically selects and I'm ready to lay that out. So it's just a nice workflow, helps speed things up, uh, especially with a glove environment. You don't have to keep taking your gloves off and on, selecting your point, and then putting your gloves back on to start. Some of the other challenges that we have up here on the deck is obviously the deck uh, is not very stable. I mean, it's stable enough to walk on, but there is some bounce to this deck. So trying to plumb that bubble up using your bipod uh, can really just reduce your accuracy. And it just takes so much extra time uh, to get to your point. Uh, another challenge would be the wind. As you go up and get higher through this building, uh, it's just gonna get more and more windy. So when you're up here and you got the wind blowing in your face and you're trying to get your uh, rod plumb, it just presents that extra challenge. So whether you're a concrete contractor, whether you're an MEP, whether you're a rod buster, plumber, electrician, if you're laying out a bunch of lines and a bunch of points up on the deck, this is really going to be a time saver for you. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful. Be safe out there. If you've got any questions or comments, see the link below under the comments section. See you next time.